Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shannon. If you have not been here before, welcome. If you have been here before, welcome back. You guys know what is up with that. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about a drugstore foundation. I've been using this foundation for a while now and I wanted to give you my thoughts on it. I'm also going to do a try on and the foundation is the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation. This guy right here, I have been using it, like I said, a bit. So this is like a full review and I am going to try it on for you on camera. But yeah, if you guys are interested in hearing about this foundation, seeing how it applies, then just keep watching. All right, guys, so we're going to be talking about this guy right here, the L'Oreal Radiant Serum Foundation, as I mentioned in the last clip. Um, I did mention I've been trying this for a while, but I want to actually try it on camera for you guys so you can see the finish. And I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. So just to give you some info on this product, by the way, I do have my eyes already done. Um, but just to give you some info on this product, it does come in 30 shades in total. I will say that it does kind of lean more towards the light medium skin tones. There isn't a really good fair shade and there isn't like a ton of dark shades. So even though it's 30 shades, I think they could expand on the shade range that they did do. Um, but 30 shades is pretty good for the drugstore. Now in Canada, this retails for about $19.99, but you can usually get it on sale if you shop around. So I would recommend definitely shopping around on this one to get it a little bit like more affordable because sometimes you can get it in the $15 or under range. Now in the US, I believe this is in the $15 range or under. So just depending on where you live, the price is going to like differ on this one and if there's any sales. So just keep that in mind. Now I did get the shade Rose Ivory 15. This is the second to lightest shade, which if you notice, this isn't super light. Um, It's still even a little dark on me. I didn't get Ivory because I felt like it was more on the yellow side. And I'm more on the kind of pink side, personally, or neutral. But I do like this foundation, and I like this shade on me. Yeah, that's the second shade, but like I said, it's not that light. Now, this does say it has a vitamin B3, and it's supposed to give your skin a lot of hydration throughout the day. It also is specifically made for older or more mature skin types. I should say more mature. Now, I'm 36, so I'm not super old by any means but I'm still have but I still have fine lines and I just wanted to see if this actually worked on my fine lines but that is like the big claim on this is that it doesn't fall into fine lines it is supposed to have a more natural radiant finish as well which kind of goes in line I feel with like mature skin types um it does come in a squeezy tube you can squeeze it out the bottom here I think that's really functional especially if you're traveling or visiting anywhere I know we're not traveling right now, but if you ever do again, I think it's good for that. It does come with one fluid ounce or 30 mils of product, which is pretty typical of a foundation. Like most foundations come with that amount, but I thought I would let you guys know. I do like the packaging. I think it's reminiscent of the Estee Lauder, the Futurist hydration, the hydrating foundation, um, which I think is really pretty. And it's nice for like a drugstore aesthetic, in my opinion. Now, I do think this provides about a medium coverage, and I'll mention that probably in the try-on clip. It doesn't really have any claims on the coverage, but I would say it's about a medium coverage. So it is a decent coverage. Um, but yeah, that's all the info really on the product. And I'm going to go into applying it, and I'll kind of give you my opinion on it. All right, so I came in a little bit closer. So we're going to go ahead and apply this, and I'll kind of like talk about it as I apply it. Um, like I said, I'm going in with the shade Rose Ivory. I'm going to put a little bit just on the back of my hand. So there's the shade right there. You can see it's a little bit runny, but it's not like crazy runny, like sometimes a serum foundation can be. So I'm just going to put a little bit on a brush. Hey guys, so editing Shannon here. My, if you hear my baby, he's in the background, but I wanted to come on because Apparently I lost a clip, the first clip of me actually applying the foundation. So that sucks. I decided to go ahead with the video. Like I said, I've tried the foundation a lot. This is what it's kind of like looking like after quite a few hours, just like a quick update. But yeah, you guys will see me kind of jump ahead to like the second layer in the video, which I'm going to now. And that is because I lost a clip. I don't know what happened, even if I wasn't filming or something happened. But sorry about that, guys. But you will kind of see still the finish and everything like that. And I give you kind of my opinion and everything on it. But I gotta go because Baby Dale's crying. And let's go back right, to the video. So I'm gonna continue applying that and put on kind of that second layer. I'm gonna go over my nose and I'm gonna take any access and put it on my forehead. And I'm getting it nice and close to you guys just so you can see what the finish actually looks like on this one. We're gonna pull it a little bit down our neck. 
and really blend it into the forehead. This one applies really nice with a brush. I feel like it has a nice like medium coverage, like I said. It's not really a super full coverage foundation, but definitely a medium coverage. And it does have a nice like kind of natural radiant finish. I don't find it to be like too dewy, but it does have like more of a dewy look to it. I will say if you have oily skin, you're probably not going to like this one just because I think it would get too oily throughout the day. But that's kind of what it looks like up close. And you could go in with more and kind of build it up. It does build up pretty good. But personally, I just like to leave it kind of like that. It gives like a nice natural finish. You can still see kind of like my freckles and things peeking through. But it does look really good on the forehead. It doesn't settle in too much to any of my lines. And even throughout the day, I find this area stays looking nice. A lot of times in my smile lines, foundations fall in really badly. But this one doesn't. It does have a bit of an SPF scent. This does have SPF in it. So if you don't like that, it's something to note. But I personally like a little bit of SPF in my foundation, so I don't mind that at all. And this wears pretty decently throughout the day. Like, I find that it wears on me for, like, at least a full eight hours before it starts to break up. Um, it's going to depend, like, on your skin type on that. Now, I do always set this foundation personally because it does have that kind of tacky feel and I like to blend stuff over top. Um, of course, if you are using, like, cream products, you could always just not set it, but... I prefer to set mine just with what I'm applying over top, but that's completely up to you. Um, but yeah, I think it has a decent longevity. I think it looks really good on my skin. Like, I don't think it falls into my fine kind of lines around my forehead and this area the more I wear it throughout the day. And I'm not going to do a check-in just because I've worn this several times. I know exactly how it wears. So that's why I'm just kind of doing this video to just kind of show you what it looks like on the skin and kind of like tell you that if you do have more of a mature skin type and you do have like fine lines, wrinkles, you like more of a kind of like natural radiant dewy foundation. I think this is a great one at the drugstore and I just thought I'd come on camera and show you guys it because I haven't heard like a ton of people talk about it. But yeah, I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup off camera and we'll come back and finish off the video. All right, guys, so I finished up my look off camera. So I went ahead and did all my concealer, my bronzer, blush, everything, of course, applied good. Things apply really nicely over top of this. I just think overall, this is a really great foundation. I'll come in close just so you can see kind of how everything is looking. So that's how the foundation looks on my skin. You can see it looks really nice. It doesn't give that like dry kind of look to the skin. I do think this is a great foundation for mature skin. I do think L'Oreal did great in creating this for kind of more mature skin types. But if you are normal to dry, I think this would work for you as well. I just don't think this would be great if you had like super oily skin type. Um, but you can set it. I do set mine down, but still I feel like this is a bit more on the kind of radiant dewy side. So you may want to stay away from it. But I do really enjoy this and I just wanted to come on camera and let you guys know kind of my review on it. Um, let me know if you guys have tried it and what you think of it. It is affordable. It's at the drugstore. So I think this is as good as some of my high-end foundations back there. So I wanted to come on and mention it. But yeah, if you guys like the video, make sure you do give me a thumbs up. It really does help my channel out. Hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification because you guys know I'm not the most frequent uploader and that way you won't miss out on my videos. But I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.